I'm going to show you how to implement protected routes. So these are special routes or URLs within our application that can only be visited by people who are currently signed in or any other condition you want to set. Now these require Superbase auth to be configured to use cookies. So make sure you click that link above if you don't know why that is, but otherwise let's get into it. Here I have a server component that is fetching to do's from Superbase. We're then pretty printing those to do's out to the page. And that looks something like this. The problem is if we sign out, then we see this weird empty state where it's just an empty array with no explanation to the user as to what they need to do next. So if the user is not authenticated, let's redirect them to an unauthenticated page. And so we can do that by creating a new route under the app directory for unauthenticated slash page dot TSX. And in here, we just want to export a default function for unauthenticated. And we're just going to return a paragraph that says, please sign in to see to do's. Now you might be thinking, why aren't we showing them a login page? And that's because our layout is already rendering this login component on every single page. So if we go back to the browser and we manually navigate to slash unauthenticated, we'll see our sign up, sign in and sign out buttons above this message that says, please sign in to see to do's. So this is pretty clear. We need to sign in. Now, if we are signed in, we probably shouldn't see this message anymore. We should probably be redirected back to our list of to do's. And so in our unauthenticated page, we want to create a new Superbase client by calling the create server component client. This one comes in from our auth helpers next.js package. And this requires us to import the cookies function from next slash headers. And we can pass that along to our create server component client function. And now we can get our users session by awaiting a call to superbase.auth.getSession. And because we're awaiting a promise here, we need to make this an async function. And then this session will either be a session from Superbase if the user is signed in, or it will be null if they're not. So if we have a session, then it means that we're no longer unauthenticated. So in that case, we want to redirect, which is a function that comes in from next slash navigation. And the page we want to redirect to is the landing page. And then if we haven't been redirected here, then we'll actually display our component. So if we save this and go back to the browser, we can see, please sign in to see to do's. And then if we click sign in, we get redirected back to the landing page, which displays our to do's. So let's do the reverse of that on our landing page. And if the user is not authenticated, then let's redirect them to the unauthenticated page. So we can just copy this logic here and move it to our landing page. So after we've created our Superbase client and we need to bring in that redirect function from next slash navigation. And now we want to reverse this logic. So if we don't have a session, we want to redirect to the unauthenticated page. And so now if we save this, go back to the browser and refresh, we see our signed in state. And if we sign out, we get redirected to our unauthenticated route, which tells us to sign in to see our to do's. And then we sign in and we get redirected back to our landing page where we can see our to do's. So since we know at this point that we definitely have a session, that means that we have a user. So we could add a little welcome message to say hello, and then print out the session users email. Now, if we had used one of the social logins to sign our user in, like maybe GitHub using OAuth, we might have something more personal for this welcome message than just an email. So if that's an example you want us to put together, let us know in the comments. But for now, hopefully this little bit of personalization makes them feel like a valued user of our application. And again, if we sign out, we get our unauthenticated message. Awesome. So our authentication and redirection logic is working as expected, but there's actually a bug when our user's session expires. So our user has left this tab open and they've gone off to do their to do's and they've come back a couple of hours later and they refresh their to do list. But what's this? Please sign in. They were signed in. So what's happened here? Well, over in our server component, we're using this create server component client function and we're passing it this cookies function from Next.js. Now this cookies function provides read access to cookies, but we can't actually set a new cookie value. And so when we call session, this session we get back from Superbase is based on this old cookie, which has expired. And so this causes our redirect logic to trigger and we end up on this unauthenticated route. But thankfully there's an easy fix to this called middleware. So middleware is a special function that runs immediately before our route is loaded. So we can create a new file in the rootmost part of our directory called middleware.ts. And then in here, we can export a function called middleware, which takes in a request 
We then create a response by calling nextresponse.next, and then we create a Superbase client by calling the create middleware client function, and this takes that request and response object, and then when we call session, if our session has expired, then it will get refreshed, and since our middleware client has the ability to set cookies on this response, it will then be available over in our server component. So the cookies that are used to create our server component client will contain that new refreshed session, which is then what we get back here when we call session, which means we will have a session, so we'll ignore this redirection, and then we'll go off to Superbase to get our to-dos. And so now, if we sign in, we'll see our welcome message and our to-dos, and if that session is expired, it will be gracefully refreshed in the background, rather than causing our user to be signed out. Sounds like it's time to add some to-dos to our list, and for that, we're going to need server-side mutations. I recommend you check out this video right here, where we look at using server actions to add new to-dos for our signed-in user. But until next time, keep building cool stuff.